are just adorable. Yes, you are. You are like the little Fred. Sophie and Trunks are both rescues. Sophie, we got her when she was six months old. She's almost six now. She came from a home where she was neglected. You could put your fingers in between her ribs because she was so skinny and malnourished. I remember bringing her home and she was matted and she needed some TLC. And then Trunks, he is three now and we got him when he was four months old. He's missing part of his front leg, but he's the happiest dog. It doesn't seem to bother him or anything. So he's just fit into our family so well. They love each other and Trunks is very protective over Sophie. He doesn't like anyone touching her or messing with her and he can become very vocal <laughs> um, when he thinks that she's in distress. Hey, hey, good morning. How's it going? Good, how are you? Doing great. What can we do for you guys today? Sophie's been having trouble with her back two legs. A previous vet told us that her kneecap was popping in and out of place. It's pretty common in these small breeds. Yeah. It's part of the reason that they have patella issues yeah. so frequently. And then Trunks, he's already had two luxating patella surgeries that didn't take. They said something didn't go right. We need to get him in again. So yeah. got him in again. And then um, he's still having issues with it. Yeah, let me take a look. Who do you want to start with, actually? Sophie. Sophie, Sophie it is. Hi. Now, is there a leg that she favors more than the other? Um, the one by your left, like the back left, yeah. See, and he's gonna get vocal now because he's so protective over her. He's like, my sister, what are you doing? So the patella is the kneecap, yeah. and it sort of sits in this groove. It feels like the right one is worse, you actually. You think so? Okay. And in fact, um, as soon as you kind of bend that leg, it pops out. We don't know exactly why it affects these breeds more than big breeds, but we know that it does. She should have pretty much just a standard patella surgery, though. All right, Trunks, your turn, buddy boy. It actually feels like there is something sticking out on like the inside of his leg. It's yeah. like extremely sharp. So I do feel that little bump that, that you feel. Um, we'll have to kind of look at the old um, surgery notes and see what they put in there. I'm sure that's not comfortable for him. Yeah. Um, I'll have a tech come in. We'll get these guys set up and prepped for their x-rays, all that sort of stuff. Um, and then we will talk to you a little bit later on today. OK, sounds great. All right, Thanks take care. Thanks so much. No problem. Hey. Good morning. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Hi, puppies. Say oh, hello. Yeah. Are you guys ready? Yeah. You're so excited to be okay. here. OK. All right, say bye, bye Mama. All right. Bye. I'll see you soon, OK? okay. Dawn. <laughs> I know. You did not tell me right. how cute they were. Yeah. No, they're super cute. Let's figure out what kennel they're going to live in. You want to do surgery one? You want to stick both of yeah. them in there? I think they could both go in there. They're Because actually, Trunks gets really jealous if you take Sophie away. Okay. So they might actually be better together in this one case. All right, babies. You guys stay here, OK? Yeah. I'll see you now. <laughs> All right, we're going for Sophie first, right, Don? Yeah. Are you ready? I'm sorry, Trunks. Oh, gosh, you're going to be so sad without her. We'll be back. Trunks and Sophie are both in for knee problems, which is not uncommon with little breeds, especially Yorkies. We can see that the left knee, so this one here, has the patella in place. So that little oval should sit right in between those two pieces of bone, and it is. On this one, the right leg, you can see that it's shifted over. So it's sitting on top of there, almost floating off the bone entirely. So that is a luxating patella. And when that happens, we think that it feels really uncomfortable, kind of like if you hit your funny bone. We're gonna deepen the patellar groove, which is where the kneecap sits. The patella will sit lower down um, and be less likely to pop out over any of those ridges. And that's gonna help prevent anything from sliding back and forth. We've definitely got the lux hitting patella on the right, so um, we're Just gonna be fixing the right one today. for the right today. Yeah. Patellas are probably one of the most common bone surgeries that we do. So, yeah, I've been doing these for years. 
All right. So we've got our kneecap and our knee joint exposed. And we're going to just remove a little wedge of that patellar groove. All right. We've got the patellar groove deepened. The patella now sits really comfortably in there through the whole range of motion. So now we're just gonna tighten up that joint capsule as we close things. That should be all we need. We're all done with Sophie's surgery today. We were able to make a nice stable groove, so really happy. But after about eight weeks, she should be using that leg really well. She should be comfortable, pain-free, and, and back to normal. Hi, buddy. Hi, 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 hi. You're okay. All right. Give me a little poke there, buddy. A little poke. Trunks and Sophie are both in for knee problems, which is actually not uncommon for little breeds like Yorkies. I worked on Sophie, and Petra's going to work on Trunks. I think the surgery the Trunks had done two years ago was a success. We've done some x-rays, and the kneecap, the patella, is actually in. So I don't think he needs another patella repair. But the question is, what is it? The problem is with dogs, they can't really tell you where the pain is. All the patella is holding in really well. Oh, I see. Right, so that's the culprit. It's the suture that's bothering him. It's not actually the kneecap. It's not very common for a suture to be causing issue. It's unbelievable something so small can cause such an issue. Different surgeons prefer different sutures. Some people like absorbable sutures. Some people use non-absorbable sutures. Sutures that don't absorb are usually not an issue. You can most of the time leave them in forever and you will never even know they are there. But every now and then they just sit wrong or they just poke the wrong spot, pull on the wrong muscle, and they can become an issue. I personally use dissolvable stitches so we don't have to take them out later. There's another stitch right here. So I'm trying to decide if, if the other stitch could bother him too or not. All right, so that's the suture number two. I've had like suture inside my knee. It hurts a lot. I got a second one from underneath the ligament. Oh, I bet that one was uncomfortable. All right, I say we call it. OK, good. Yeah. So trunk surgery was a success. This is what we got out of his leg. I removed one more that seemed like it might be causing issues in the future. Otherwise, the knee feels great. So I'm hoping that this really was the source of his pain and hopefully he's gonna be running around in no time.